Okay, you're going to start your project today with using Q sound effects on the Quaver's Marvelous World of Music uh, website that we have a subscription to. So once you've logged in, enter the shop, and then move to the left and go through the lab door. And if you look over the left side of the avatar, you'll see the Q sound effects stand. You're going to click on that. And it will load for you several different videos, both live action and animation. And all of these are devoid of sound. You need to add the background sounds that you would hear in this clip. So select the one that you'd like to use, and it will open. I recommend that the first thing you do is you add a title. This will help you when you are trying to save it later. Oops, I clicked the wrong button. So now you've got your title up here. And then now we can uh, sort, start to add our sound. I recommend that you play through it first while it's blank so that you can see what kind of sound you're looking for. Think about the movement of the character and what kind of sounds their footsteps might make. What ambient sounds are in the environment itself. Um, pay attention to the movement of the characters and their actions. What kind of sounds would go with that. Once you have an idea of where you want to start, uh, go back over here to the left and you'll see you have a video sound effects uh, area. When you click that drop down arrow, you'll see that you have several um, categories to start with. Um, when I'm looking at this video, I see uh, that they're on a beach. So obviously if they're near the ocean, they're going to hear the waves crashing. So my first thought was to go and find sounds of the ocean. So I want to look under beach, and I don't see anything for the beach for waves, so I'm going to try a different category. Looking under nature, you can see that we've got something called strong waves. If we click the play button, it'll let you hear what it sounds like. And that sounds like something I want to use. So if I want it, I'm going to click and drag it to one of my three sound effects bars. You've got three to work with down here, and it allows you to layer sounds on top of each other if that's what you'd like to do. Um, so that's an option for you to use. You can also use uh, sounds that you record yourself uh, with a microphone. If you would like, we can find times in the practice room so that you guys could quietly record your own sounds if you can't find what you'd like. So what you can do is when you find what you want to use, you can drag in your sounds and you can place them right next to each other so it's continuous and it, and it plays for the whole time. If there's ever a sound you don't want, you simply pick it up, drag it, and let it go and it disappears. Um, you can consider looking in other areas for, for sounds that you might use. For example, the, the crab scuttling across the sand. I couldn't find something that was labeled crab walk. So I moved into the home and auto section and under cooking I found a shaker. And that shaker will, to me, sound like something moving through sand. So when I layered that where the crab was moving, it matched up. Take a look. Let me show you one that I've done before. When you're ready to save, click File, and you would click Save when you're ready to save your work. Make sure you do this, because if you exit out of it, you're going to lose everything you just did. I'm going to click Open to see one of mine. I'm going to click on this one and open it. And when you see it, and I'll play a moment of it for you, you'll be able to see how it all lines up. Take a look. Hopefully this was enough to get you started in your project. Be creative. Think about unique ways to use these sound banks that have been provided for you. Have fun with it, and I can't wait to see your recordings.